Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up YouTube? Happy Cinco de Mayo 2019. I brought Christina with me. Say hello. Hola. Hola. And we brought to everybody um, a continued review in the quest to review early banknotes from the Bank of Mexico. We have reviewed the 1, the 5, the 10, the 20, the 50, and the 100 peso banknotes. So check out those videos, folks. This is the 500 peso banknote. Uh, from the Bank of Mexico. These are the first series of banknotes that were printed from a United Bank of Mexico. And on the front side of the note, you will see influences from a design from the U.S. dollar with a slanted signature um, for one of the signatories of this note. We found that to be a little bit interesting. Would you agree? Yeah, because if you look at the other notes that we have reviewed, all three signatures on the front of the bill are all straight. This one has two straight, and then the final one is slanted. So they were level versus yes. slanted signature. Understood. Hmm. So the front personality on this banknote is Jose Morelos. Yes. Politician, military leader, etc., etc. Yes. <laughs> Much like uh, other personalities featured on the banknotes from the Mexican yes. Revolution, so to speak. It's like the National Heroes series. Yes, which is actually kind of cool because, I mean, we put, we of course place notable Americans and presidents on our banknotes. Remember, folks, not every person on a U.S. banknote was a president. Alexander Hamilton comes to mind. So, uh, it's really interesting to see these folks on banknotes. Same thing with Benjamin Franklin on the $100 U.S. note, Exactly. By the way. So, uh, interesting to see the, these patriots of Mexican history uh, also on the Mexican banknotes. I believe this note was also printed by the American Banknote Company. Yes. Uh, again, outside entity to the central bank. Uh, I've mentioned this on the other videos in the series, so please check out those videos as well. Anything else on the front side of the note? What about the color scheme on the front side of the note? This is more of a pink and green tone and just as a side note at least with this bill mm -hmm. is actually from 1977 the last year of the series i gotcha so it's a 20-year print run between 1957 i believe in 1977 I guess. yes so it's it's a pretty lengthy run folks of bank notes and now it does not mean that these notes were printed solely in the years of the issue it's the really the design year and the print year tend to coincide but not always so you may also have a design year mentioned on some of these notes. So it's not as if all of these notes were only printed every year between 1957 and 77. They're printed based on demand of the bank. Yes. So you have design years versus print years. And I think we've talked about this a little bit on the Frugal Snobs podcast. So check out that discussion. Everything you need to know is at frugalsnobs.com. Catch the podcast. Anything else on the front side of the note? Nothing that really sticks out. That was, the only signature is what really stood out to me with looking at this one. Let's check the back side of the note which features basically the, the Palace of the Mines. Yes. So. And the cool part is this was actually the palace where the emperor lived at one point, uh, Maximilian I. Emperor Maximilian I? Yes. And then they converted it into a college. Interesting. Interesting. So back side of the note, anything else on the back side of the note in terms of color schemes, etc.? It's all green with blue seals, like a light cerulean blue. Cerulean. I love how you have these like very intricate words and verbiage to explain colors. I'm a male, okay, under the age of 40, living in the United States. When, when you just said cerulean, what, blue you said? Yes. You know what I call it? Blue. blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. This is the 500 peso bag note. Check out the, from the Bank of Mexico, check out the other videos in this series. Again, we reviewed the 1, the 5, the 10, the 20, the 50, the 100, and now the 500. So check out all the other videos here on the channel. Not only the series, it helps us out. Subscribe while you're here. Check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. As I said, everything you need to know to catch the podcast is at frugalsnobs.com. Until we speak again, folks, be well. Never pay retail. Take care of yourself and each other.